talking about new ideas, I do want to pivot the conversation and see if you have any new ideas about where we are in this economy and the markets right now. We talked, we talked to you over the summer. Uh, you had talked about how you thought the Fed needed to raise interest rates. Uh, they are doing that. Yes. Uh, the market <laughs> has been having, a, 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 in terms of equities, a tough time as a result. What do you think happens this fall? What are you doing? So we own the same companies we've owned uh, really beginning in the year, uh, absent uh, a, a, a new investment that was very short dated uh, in Netflix, um, because we think ultimately if you own great businesses, you can ride through a, a challenging time like this. Our, our biggest fear was inflation, uh, and that's why I wanted the Fed right. to raise rates quickly and soon. They're now doing this. And do you want them to continue? I think they have to. I think what they've said they're going to do, they have to do, which is raise rates to something in order of 4% or maybe a little bit more, short rates, keep them there for a reasonably extended period of time, a year or so, and then hopefully inflation starts to come off. And you're seeing, I think, some, some indications that inflation is coming, coming if off. If we had this conversation 12 months from now, yes. what do you think is a, a realistic sense of what inflation could be in this country? I think it's come down a lot. I think it's come but down what, a lot. What's, what's the number? To you, it, it's four percent. Four percent. Three and a half percent, hopefully. And then on, they have on to... its way down. On its way down. And where are equities as a result of all this? I think once people realize the Fed doesn't have to keep increasing rates, and will soon be taking rates down, that's kind of a buy signal for markets. And so the question is, how how far in advance does the market predict that kind of outcome? I think if people see inflation come off eight and a half, you know, you start to see a pretty powerful uh, continuing trend. Um, then I think people will expect at some point the, the Fed to ease. But they're not, what they're not going to do is right. take rates to 4% and see a good inflation print and then start taking interest rates right. down again. They're not going to make that mistake. And final question for you. I'm actually curious what both of you think. We're all here in person together now. Yes. It's post-Labor Day. School's starting. Yes. Uh, a lot of folks are going back to the office for, in some cases, the first time even. There's a massive debate raging in this country about whether uh, that should be the case, will be the case, needs to be the case. What's going on in your world? Uh, so I'll give you, uh, so PTPA today doesn't have many employees, so it's, <laughs> I think that they're probably together. But um, the short story is Pershing, uh, what we did is July and August, we gave everyone work from home. And that was a great experience. I think everyone loved it. Believe it or not, I believe everyone is excited to come back to the office, which is today's our first day And is back. that a five-day-a-week situation, a three-day-a-week situation? It's a five-day-a-week situation. I think we can with, I would say, more flexibility than the old days, right? Well, number one, if you got the slightest bit of cold, you're not coming in, you're working from home, right? We're, we're making that kind of pretty, pretty clear. But it's just, you know, we've always been a firm where if someone has something important for their kids or otherwise, you know, work from home that day.